Okay, so I was just, I'm just cooking my rice for my dinner and I'm flipping on YouTube and yeah, I, I, when they come across my recommends, the updates on what's happening south of the border in the United States of America, um, this one cropped up in which it was the Daily Show and it's Trump pleads total immunity to the SCOTUS while claiming to be blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> that was happening today down in the United States of America. Um, their Supreme Court has been rather shockingly I, uh, divesting themselves of their their duty as supreme as Supreme Court justices, and it's shocking. Uh, you know, in my lifetime, the one thing that above all that I understood to be at least something that I thought was almost uncorruptible, I understood from an early age the government and their roles internationally, especially in South America. But at least I always felt the safeguards were the, 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 the Senate and the House, their politics and their judicial systems, their Supreme Court. Now, <laughs> the politics is so bad, <clears throat> even the blue side, Biden signed the the TikTok ban and you know meanwhile everyone's saying you lost the vote well if Biden lost the election who's gonna win people Trump I mean the insanity of people it's just mind-blowing to me so here I'm thinking okay we got a really crazy laughing stock of the world south of Canada. I, I almost embarrassed to be their neighbor now. Maybe we can just create a technology, a laser to cut the 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 border so that we can push the Canada away from the US and Mexico could do the same and then we'll shove the US way out into the middle of the Pacific. So they're kind of really all by themselves, you know, thousands of miles from any other land base. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, this, this video, I wanted, what I caught here is Trump is well known for staging crowds that are paid to love him. Right from his down the escalator at Trump Tower on his announcement way back in 2018 or whatever it was. He, he paid all of the people around there that were cheering. They were paid. They were paid actors. $50 to spend an hour there to cheer on him. He's paid for people to go to his rallies because if he didn't pay for them, he'd probably have 10 people sitting in the crowd Anyways, that's well known, well known of him. Now, I want to show you this. I'm just going to rewind a bit. I want to show you this because in this little scene that he's gone to a, a uh, random, apparently it's totally random, like it was all staged, but I want to show you this. Let me go back. Okay, there's this guy right there with the camera. I want you to watch him. I want you to watch him. I'm just going to go back one little more step. Okay, right coming here. Just hold on. Just hold on. So he's right there. Watch him. He's looking across. See, he's, see where his camera's pointing? Not to Donald Trump. He Look at that. He's pointing his camera out. Not He's not looking at... Donald Trump. He's not recording or taking pictures of Donald Trump. He's got his camera out. This is a planted person. And to me, you know, uh, there's things that are concerning about Trump and what he's doing right now. Uh, 
you know, and, and a big part of it is his his mental state state of mind. We we know that he's 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 going he's losing his his brain his mind. And uh, these, I, I my theory is that he's he, he's not really the one in charge of what he's doing. There's people in the background that are doing all this. And I said in a previous video, as bad as he is, he's just too old and too stupid. What's worse is a young, smart, radical that shares his ideology will replace him. And then what? The Supreme Court today, based on uh, what I saw just in the last 20 minutes or so, was that his justices that he appointed are actually, believe it or not, favoring Trump. Even in light of questions like, what if he was to sell the, the nuclear codes to an adversary? Well, that depends. That depends. You, there's no depending. That, you don't sell your nuclear codes and information to anyone. <laughs> there's no depends. Well, he wears depends. <laughs> what if he was to assassinate his opponent? Well, if it was for certain causes, it could be considered part of his duty. There is no part of your duty to assassinate an opponent. I mean, the 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 crux of what the 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 lawyers are that are arguing for him. That's insane that they're pushing that. They are, after all, Americans. But what's worse is the the Supreme Court justices that are siding with this. It's a slippery slope because, matter of factly, what's ironic is because he's doing this purely because of his court cases right now, what he's doing is setting it up that if the Supreme Court made this ruling in this case right now that's happening, who's to say Biden doesn't then do it? Because the Supreme Court has made that decision. Biden can say exactly the argument that they're making against for Donald Trump that well if if he's if he feels that that uh, that rival that opponent uh, is corrupted maybe it's within his official duties to assassinate that person. Interesting. Biden could then in theory say well this this Trump is so corrupted. I'm going to deal with this as a president for the, the protection of the nation. You know, the craziness of that, it's, it just blows me away. You know, it's really, it's, it's a gong show down there in the United States of America.